Alright, Billy, come on in here. Billy has got, uh, he wanted to mention this since you brought up tipping, Fizz. What's that? He's I'm got, not tipping Billy either. He has a beef at Christmas from his former job. Without a doubt. Um, you want to give out a friendly reminder to yes. everyone at Christmas time. Do not forget your garbage man, people. <laughs> <laughs> He's serious. <laughs> See, you guys are laughing, but... I'm not laughing, Billy. I'm laughing at you, not at the garbage men. No, I need them. You never see them, so they're out of people's minds. It's like they come before you get up in the morning. They take everything I hear them, them though. Yeah, they're like lepers. Do you tip a leper? You got lepers coming to your house three days a week? Sometimes. Go ahead, Billy. No, plus, just remember, you know, you can stay, you can tape it, tape it to the top of your garbage can. You can put it under the lid. You can put a note saying there's something for you in the mailbox. You can get up a little bit early for the guys. You know, just don't forget your garbage man at Christmas just because you don't see them. Are uh, you hey, a garbage that, man for how long? About 12 years. Did you get tipped? Oh, yeah. Not as well as we should have. I mean, because when you're doing 1,000 to 1,500 houses a week, if everyone just gave you a buck, you'd make what up you for What do you expect there. to get? Anything from ten to twenty dollars would be nice. All right, now, uh, so you saying give the garbage man ten bucks? Yeah, because you got to remember it's split between three guys, two on the truck. Oh, I see. So that's really not that uh, much. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, know, you ever notice this? A lot of people try to give garbage men beer. Yeah, like, my dad does that. <laughs> like they can't. Like talk about a stereotype. Here, you guys are garbage men. You must drink a lot of beer. You're gonna enjoy this. Here's the beer left over from our Fourth of July picnic. And it's five degrees out. Right. <laughs> All right, so and don't let if you are going to tip the garbage man, don't lay it on top of the can. No, because there are people actually who go out and will on around the holidays and steal tips and stuff. Cause they so know. what would you do? Walk out and give it to them? That would be the best thing to do, or just leave a note saying. All right, let's say you had a thousand people on your garbage route. Mm -hmm. How many do you think tipped you out of that one thousand? Maybe two hundred, one hundred, maybe even less. And sometimes it was like five bucks for a whole house, and we were lucky if we cleared about two hundred dollars a piece. Out of over a thousand yeah. homes. Well, I, maybe not there. everybody knows you're supposed to tip the garbage man. Well, I think it's one of the things that you should be aware of just because you don't see them. I mean, you put out everything. They take whatever you want. You know, you wake up in the morning and it's gone. You see your mailman. You see him every day. You see your paper boy sometimes. You just don't see your garbage man. So you're doing your job every day and then you expect to be tipped at Christmas. Yeah, without a doubt. Why? You're it's doing... a service job. But it's you, your you job. Tip, you tip a waitress, don't you? She brings you food, so she, we're taking away the food you don't eat. She clears away things. So then tip the garbage man, tip the postman. It's, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Who else? Your, your newspaper boy, your, the guy who delivers your newspaper. In you the tip morning? people in the service business. Right. For, you but get, it, you're rewarding them for good service the year, the year throughout the year. Even well, the ones you tip during the year, you still give an extra tip to a Christmas, like your barber. Yeah, barber, or if you go to a restaurant all the time, you have the same waitress all the time. You right. Know, somebody you right. See now, Billy, uh, you know how uh, Joe Poole, uh screwed up people's orders and stuff when he was a pizza guy? Mm -hmm. Would you throw someone's cans around if they didn't tip you? Or? Uh, no, because it was way well, too many. Take, you wouldn't take away a washing machine for that guy, would you? Like you might for somebody who tipped We'd this. let it sit there for a while until he came out with a couple of bucks. But yeah. Trust me, garbage men remember. They know the houses that did tip. They know. They, they, they know what's going on. They, they, they know they their think, names. Yeah. Oh, we remember. Thinking. We got great You can memories. remember the houses that tip you. So what would you do special for them? Oh, we would take whatever they had and put their, cur their cans right against the curb nice, nice instead of flinging them or something or leave them out in the street a little bit. Uh-huh. So that's well worth it for me for 20 I bucks. Know. Yeah. To not have to chase your cans down the street. Oh, without a doubt. So, Billy, if you don't get a holiday tip, you don't do your job. Because no. then you won't put their garbage No, he's not the saying curb. that, but you're no. not going to get extra. But the, no, you man. tip the garbage man, you tip the uh, mailman. You know that, Al. I don't. I would never even think to do that. Why? What? Well, were you born in, under a rock? Well, well, then, in, in a, a rock. rock. He was born in a rock. <laughs> in a hard place. <laughs> Didn't your parents ever tip when you were growing up? Not the garbage man or How the mailman. You know? Your dad was a baggage handler, Al. He, I'm sure he made he all the money tips. off tips. Is that why you're so frustrated? No, I just, I, I wouldn't think the garbage man. I wouldn't think the postman. So what else? Why the baggage guy at the airport should get a tip I, and not the garbage guy? I wouldn't guy. tip the baggage guy at the airport. <gasps> That's his guy. You're wrong, father. A guy who's carrying your bags, you wouldn't tip. You're That's what he's working at the, at the airport to do. You tip the, the barber? Bags. No. What about your bartender? 
Uh, bartender, if if it's a little, if it, if a group of beers is four eighty, I'll give them the five. I'm not looking for two. Wow. Dollars. You, you rat wow. bastard. I leave bigger tips and you give, give them wedding envelopes. I'll tell you what, if I'm the bartender, you're feeling two dimes against the back of your head. I'll whack that thing at you. No, but that's what you're getting paid to and do. And I'm stirring the drink with my schwant. All what right, hold on. Here's uh, Tom. Here's one of my schwants. <laughs> it's not even the term schwants. Here's Tom. Tom, you're on Ron and Fuzz. Hi, Tom. Yeah, what's up, boys? Yeah. It's physically sick that this is making me. I have to uh, kind of agree with Al Dukes. For the simple fact that garbage men, you can't compare them for waitresses because waitresses make like two bucks an hour. I have a lot of friends that are garbage men. They make like 60, 70 grand a year, man. They make a lot of money. And, you know, and, so, and baggage guys, you know, at the airport, they don't make a lot of money. They depend on tips. Mailmen, civil service job, they do pretty damn good. And, and what Al Duke said about, you know, it's like a shakedown almost. You're not going to put the cans back the right way. You're going to. No, he said these things happen. No. You know, some people yeah, get. Pre- I know, you know, people get preferential treatment that, yeah, but if that you take care of. If the garbage man comes to my house and he takes away like a heavy thing, then I'll give him, you know, I'll tell I, him a no. couple bucks. But I, I, don't, I don't feel like here's I. Here's the thing. You know, I, uh, here's the thing, no, Tom. I live in Manhattan. You got the uh, doorman. You got the maintenance people. Oh, you'll be broke. Man. You got the porters. They're all working yeah. union jobs. I don't think they're doing too bad. The super, the assistant super, the handyman. And yeah, you where does it end, man? Where does it end? If you give every single goddamn person, uh, how, how much money are you going to wind up giving out? If you give to everyone you come in contact with. The list of people in my building, I think I added it up. It was like 13 or 14 different people that are on the tip list. Now, do you ever ask any? Do you have one of them that you're friends with and go, come on, what's the normal here? Because that's now, what you have to say. I know you should, but I've never had the nerve to ask one of them. Yeah. Because I'm afraid that's going to set a bad precedent. Right, why won't you tip the barber, Al? Because his job is cut my hair. There's nothing else that he does. And that's, that's the easiest he's... job in the world. That's what he's getting paid to do. So if the haircut's $10, like where I go, it's $10. Do you tip the shampoo girl, too? No. you got to tip the shampoo girl. My God. That's her job. She's shampooing She's your putting hair. her fingers in your sloppy head. you got to tip Ew. her. These people are rubbing your hair in your head and doing you a service. It's just a reward for good service. Every job is doing somebody a service. Every job, any job you can think of, your accountant does a service for you. Do you tip him at the end of the year? Yes, I have been known. Yeah, I've been known to cut my accountant in on a couple of deals. <laughs> Believe me, my accountant's been taken care of before. And he's taking care of me in uh, a it's couple just, difficult situations. I mean, you answer the phones, Billy. Do someone should they tip you? You're doing a service for no, the radio. I am, I am not <laughs> going up to What's them that directly. Mean? You know, I am not doing a direct service to their Listen, house. Listen, if you'd not... like to tip Billy, please send it all. Eight 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 building. <laughs> Billy, what should the garbage man get? You got a what a three man, four man crew? Uh, sometimes it's actually you can be either a two or three man truck depending uh-huh. on uh, you know the company or the the. And the they're weather. out there in the freezing cold. It's raining. It's hot. I mean, these guys take the garbage away. Take care of them. It isn't that much. And these, some of these cans, you know, these people in the summertime with the wet grass cuttings and stuff. This stuff is not light, and everything disappears. It's you know, you're what? rewarding for a year's oh. worth of service with a twenty dollar bill. Give me a break. It's the grossest job in the world that a lot of people refuse to do, and thank God someone. Someone's willing to. Yeah, Without but, a doubt. But if you do, like, you're saying garbage man, uh, hair cutter, postman, Fez says he's got 13. If Fez only gives $10 to each of those persons, that's a, a 130 bucks he's got to come up with. And it's well yes. worth over it. the course of a year. Yeah, but you know, he, when you do it now. It's now when you're buying gifts for your family and everything. Now you got all of a sudden but, 130 Well, you got to look into those things. For what my doorman does for me. It's worth it. Opens the door and lets you in the building. No, they do all they take kinds care of, of you. They accept keep an eye out for you. They accept your packages and your dry cleaning all year round. If you need a car service, they're they sto- arrange that. They're stopping people from coming into the building in New York. You're always glad to have that. There's a pair of eyes down in the lobby while you're sleeping. But does it mean, like, if Fez doesn't tip him, now he's not going to Why, sign why even package? be that way? Why not just be a straight-up guy without being like that? Because there's I, so many people. And it's just have, his building, there's 13. I, I have no here. problem tipping. I just need to know who and how much. And I don't mind tipping. Here's uh, Dennis. Dennis, you're on Ron Fez. Hi, Dennis. Gentlemen. Yeah. Now, in, in all seriousness, Al, if this isn't just some kind of shtick, my dad's a barber. If one of his regular customers didn't give him a tip at Christmas, they get a scissors in the neck. This and that's this murder. Is, that's this, literally what I love you to get: scissors in the neck. I just had a haircut uh, Friday. What's your tip? 
<laughs> Nothing. The, the, the haircut was $10. I had a $10 bill on me. $10? Where'd you get your haircut? 1963? <laughs> I got my, hey, Dad, my... look at him. It's Roger Maris. It's called Grease in the You know what? Throw him 12 and see if they'll shave that neck for you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Dennis. I talked over you. No, it's, that's all right. I'm sorry. It's, just, yeah. this is, it's called Grease in the Wheels. It's called taking care of people at Christmas who maybe don't make as much money as you do. And so what? If it costs you 200 bucks to take care of everybody, that's still, you know, that 10 bucks from different people can go a long way. And, and really here's the thing, Al. Out. You got a nice job. You do okay for yourself. You got to keep the money moving around. Don't sit there. Don't sit on it like it's a nest egg. Keep it moving. Tip. To me, everywhere I'm walking, Fez, I'm in Vegas. Nice. That's a good attitude. That's the way I see life. Wherever I go, I feel like I'm in Vegas. For me, the people at the, my building, like the door people, I consider that part of the annual rent. You know, it's part of the what I have to pay for service in my building. Hey, uh, Tim, Tim, you're on Run a Fez. I do it gladly. Hey, guys. Hi, Tim. Go ahead. I'm sorry about the phone. I'm on a cell phone. You have to tip the shampoo girl because she's sticking her cans in your face. Actually, <laughs> you get a nice pair of breasts in the back of your head, and it's the best part of your whole day. Yeah, that makes the whole thing. And you know what? I, what feels better than uh, a woman shampooing your hair? Uh, uh, there's only one thing that feels better, and she'd have to be a hooker to do that. And when she rubs, like, her privates are rubbing up against your shoulder. Her and your privates. What are you, where's that at? Now you're turning dirty. Her privates. <laughs> you're so immature. <laughs> you're such a baby. Anthony, you're on uh, Rana Fez. Hey, Anthony. Yeah, guys. Uh, I work for UPS, and I deliver packages every day. Yeah, let me Buildings. ask you this. You tipped the, the UPS guy out? Would never cross my mind until this guy said UPS. I wouldn't even think about it. The guy's bringing something up to your house, up how, to your door. How often? Yeah. Whenever he does, you but take care of him. It's somebody else is hey, Al, why don't, Al? Al, why don't you try climbing five flights of steps with a computer? You know what? I won't, wouldn't take that as we'll a job. We'll do it tonight. Get a computer. There's a monitor in the, uh, an unplugged monitor <laughs> in the conference room. Al, I want you to carry it up five flights. But if I agreed to that job for that amount of pay, I'm not counting no, on the know. other people. Yes, you, you get tips. Al, it's you, easy to remember. All right, remember. let me ask you this. The florist comes to your house. I didn't order the flowers. I'm not tipping the person. If if You're I order scumbag. if somebody ordered me flowers, they should also take care if they're gonna tip of the the person driving the van. Why should I, in receiving a gift, now have to put out money? Al, it's easy to remember. UPS, TIPS. Well, right. at the same time too, we have to make several deliveries if you're not there the first time. And it's like three attempts. You know what to do at Al's house? Come back later and kill the dog. Check it through his window. <laughs> Seriously, take that computer screen and bust out his picture window with it. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Audition. Thanks. You drive me crazy, Al. You just drive me crazy. Hey, Matt. Matt, you're on Iron uh, Fez. Hey, Matt. What's up, guys? Go ahead, Matt. Um, I'm a bartender. And I, I actually work for uh, TGI Fridays, and I know there's one in Woodbridge, Lucky. Al's hometown. And uh, I was totally offended by what he just said. Everything, uh, everything else up till the bartender part was just ignorance on his part. But all bartenders and waiters that that work in our area totally survive on their tips, and they understand that when they take the job. Well, Al literally wants to put his two cents in. <laughs> If he if he did that to me, I'd throw the 20 cents at him, and he would not get another beer for the rest of the night. Have you ever done that to someone, Matt? I've thrown it on the bar top, and I, yes, not made eye contact with him again. They're just dead to you from that point on. Yes. He's, Why not he's become friends with I a can't... bartender who could take care of you with the drinks? So you might be a little stronger. In, You're making in, a buddy. But in a exactly. place, in a place where would care. I'm sorry. In a place where it would count when it's a really crowded bar. I've seen friends of mine throw the guy a couple extra bucks. The, the bartender's no quicker to him than he Boy, is to me. do you follow the money. You cheap bastard. <laughs> you don't do things because it's the right thing to do. You're you're the one always constantly going, what do I get next? Or, Take care of the guy. He's busting his ass. He's got his hands in limes and lemons all night. And That's, you don't want a, your drink stirred with a swan. And that, and that is the swans? only money he's making, Al. He's not getting a paycheck. You just take care of the people that take care of you. Simple. How hard is that? Thank you very much, Matt. Thanks, Matt. All right, we're going to take a little break here. 877-692-1027. We're on a Fez. We're talking about putting a little brass in the pocket. We're talking about those Christmas tips. They come around, Fezzy. It's that time. Now we're finding out from Al Dukes. He, he barely tips anybody. Even anyone you're supposed to regularly tip. You, you do tape, 
tip a waitress, right? Yeah, I mean, in a restaurant. Yes. Yes, in a restaurant. Where else are you going to say a waitress? <laughs> if you don't do it there, it's an argument with everybody, so I'll, I'll calculate the 15%. Oh, Lord. That's the standard. God. I thought th even the standard was 18. No, I think it's 15. You're giving him bad news, Ronnie. He's going to need a new calculator. His only goes to 15%. What about you're in an apartment, right? Yes, I am. What about you, the people that work for you at the apartment? Now, are you in a building with a doorman or? No, I'm in just no. a regular building. Do you yeah. have uh, security? No. No security at all? I don't think so. Uh, maintenance people? Yes, I do. You got to tip them. You got to tip your maintenance guy. And then uh, I don't. He's not going to fix, you know, the refrigerator. But why are you goes. turning it into a negative thing? <laughs> because it's because he already has taken care of that stuff. So you tip him. No, but uh, it's Christmas. It's the thing I don't understand. He's getting paid to fix my refrigerator if it breaks. All right, Al. Do you realize this? Like you were talking about, you don't tip your barber, right? Right. You're also supposed to go back and give your barber a Christmas tip. Yeah, not just a tip after every haircut. A tip at Christmas time, uh, above and beyond. Did about, you know that? About no. the same price uh, as they say is the haircut, any haircut will cost. No. Would never do, would never even think about it. I mean, he's gonna well, now that, now that you us. learn these things, because this is on the instant uh, feedback, it's, Al's far too old n for uh, to blame it on his parents. He should know better by now. I know. It's not that he doesn't world. know. He's just cheap. Hey, Tammy. Tammy, you're on Rana Fez. Hi, Tammy. Hi, guys. Hey. How you doing? Calling the gang, baby. Excuse me? We're good, honey. What can we do for you? Well, as far as the garbage men go, yes. Yes. I wanted to just say that they also risk their lives. That is you true, know? Well. They're standing on the backs of those trucks, and people are buzzing by them. No regards to them. I'd rather, um, I would I love to hear a garbage truck right I now, other than this voice. I'd rather be hit by a truck. You know, I'll tell you the truth, not to mention also how badly the garbage smells. Yeah, the garbage doesn't smell good. I guess I gotta smell a, garbage. Maggots accumulate on it. I, out of respect for the garbage man, dump ammonia on my garbage just because if it's Dump some on your woos. And yeah. And Excuse double, me? <laughs> and double wrap my tamponies. Yeah, well... So they don't have to smell that out in the garbage. And, and I'm also of service to people. Really? My husband and I... I and I'm guessing people, phone sex. Ex phone sex? Imagine, honey, I had you right there, and I was working the bulls. Well, could, what do you What do you guys do, Tammy? Well, we do upholstery and wood refinishing. And when people come in after they bring us in all this stained-up furniture... Yeah, you know, all this nasty-looking material on it, boat interiors, it's a disaster zone. Right. I'm like, uh, you know, I can't believe we got to touch this, is what I'm telling my husband. And I'm like, but when it's done, it's beautiful, it's all brand new. What are we supposed to do with this ottoman? And so, so we you... have one to do. We just got one in that needs all to right, be done. All right, so you're saying you get a little tip, right? Well, they never give you a tip, but just a, a thank you, even the thank yous and the show of appreciation. It means a lot. But that's your job, bitch. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I am a bitch. I am a bitch. <laughs> I will admit to that. Oh, you know, all right, thank you very much, Tammy. But I'm, I'm sorry for out. Yeah, good. you are good. You're a good person. But yeah. all in all, all right. I feel all the garbage gosh. men do deserve a tip. Have you been drinking the lacquer? Is it in your throat? Well, you know what? I'm the stripper. I am the stripper. Right, thank you, honey. Oh. Bye-bye. I, I do I've, this. Oh, I've God. never been so hot in my life. Her saying she's the stripper. I think it's a little joke as she strips. Yeah. She mentioned the garbage men should get a tip because uh, the garbage smells. Every job has something about it that's not pleasant. That doesn't mean... Oh, Ours is working with you. Should we get a tip? No. <laughs> Good. Hey, uh, Frank, Frank, you're on our run of Fez. Hey, Frank. Hey, Uncle Ron, Aunt Fez. Hey, buddy. How are you, douchebag? Uh, card holder 8592. All right. Merry Christmas, Cooler, Frankie Cooler. Angel. Uh, listen, I deliver water for a living. Whoever gives me a tip gets an extra bottle on the house. Nice. That's the way it goes. Now, you got to take care of your water, guy. See, now, isn't it worth it? For three to tip someone on one day and get nice, pleasant service for three hundred and sixty-four. Yeah, but Ex go ahead, guys. With each caller, it's a different job that now needs a tip. 
Oh, oh, now it's the water guy. All right. Now, now I, I should water, leave your bottle in the driveway I'm so instead of through I'm dying. your garage, right? Yeah, right. He carries it all the way up. Do you want? Do you carry want it all the way up your driveway, right to the garage door, right to the front stoop? Al, do up, you want to lug water? Flight? No, I don't want to lug water. But if that's my job, I would do it if I agreed to do that job you for whatever shop, amount of money. You should chop uh, uh, wood and haul water. That should be you. Al. Here's you're what you're gonna Buddhist. do. We're gonna fill up buckets of water. You're gonna carry them up five flights tonight. Hey, uh, Regina, <laughs> he's carrying things up <laughs> flights all the time. <laughs> Regina. Regina, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Go ahead, I'm, sweetheart. I'm, I'm appalled that there are still people in this world like Al. Me We're too. in the 21st century, and he doesn't even like to tip the people that that's all they depend on. The government taxes them regardless of whether or not you tip them. So don't you think it might be nice to make their lives just a little bit easier? Why would that be such a bad thing for you, Al? Well, but how do I know who is in this group of people that have these types of Bartenders, bartenders, waitresses, hair washers... Um, Anyone who does something for your person. Any, yeah, anybody who's serving you, actually serving you. You're ser it's, they're not even called waitresses and waiters anymore. They're called servers. Bartenders I think that's only a get... step backwards, by the way. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Regina. All right, here's uh, some ideas for you, Alan. All you've got to do is look it up on the Internet, like NM, the remote producer, send this to us. Thank God for NM. Uh, the guy who uh, delivers your newspaper, 10 to $20. Depending on whether you get daily or weekend over. Now, you get the paper? Yes, I do. What do you tape your I know, uh, What do you pay uh, for that? What do you tip? Oh, I just put them, you know, it's like a buck and change into the... Envelope. Well, what about your Christmas tip? No, no Christmas tip. All right, parking attendant. Wow. You're supposed to give them $25 or 50 bucks. Um, 25 to to $100 a piece for doorman, building superintendents, condo association... Um, I never knew this one. You're supposed to give your uh, child's primary daycare uh, worker gratuity to 10 to $20 or a small gift. Normally, you always give them a small gift. Right. You can get away with an actual present. Because the kids, yeah, the kids uh, right. like to bring that in. They make a big deal. Let your kid make something for them. Um, of course, you're supposed to take care of a maid. Right. Babysitters are supposed to give them at least one day's earning. So if somebody's watching your kid at Christmas, make sure you take care of them. Fifty dollars for the wait staff at a restaurant or bar that you frequent often. Do you have a like a local restaurant you like to go to a lot? Al? Yeah, there's one in my town. You, you ought to tip George Foreman. He's making your chicken every night. That's, so that's a lot of people you just listed there. Here is uh, Manny. Manny, you're on uh, Ron and Fez. Hey, How Manny. You doing, Manny. How you doing, Ron and Fez? Hey, buddy. Uh, listen. I was uh I was on a uh, outdo side for a minute when I was feeling sorry for him because Joe Poole was uh, ragging on him so much, right? Being subordination and everything. Sure. But now um after hearing all this cheapskate talk from him, man, I I can't be on his side anymore. I can't. And I was going I was willing to beat Joe Poole's ass for him because I live in Jersey City right next door to Bayonne. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was gonna do it for him because I could tell that he doesn't have the heart to fight to stand up for himself. All right, thanks a lot. All right, okay, Ronnie Fez. All right, say, hey, Fez, you're on the instant uh, feedback. says, I tip the babysitter. The tip of my C. That's nice. It's just awful. And that, that's I nice. give it a tip of this. <laughs> Al, you drive me crazy. Hey, Ed, Ed, you're on the uh, Ronnie Fez. And uh, Robert Kennedy's son. Ed, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, buddy. Hey, Ed. Hey, uh, hey Al, you're despicable. I mean it. You have you ever got a Christmas bonus? Oh uh, yeah, okay, uh, you know, a long time ago. So what's the difference, Al? What's the difference? You're getting you're getting paid extra. You don't feel it? Uh, maybe you should throw a little around. But that's like, you know from companies that are making millions of dollars. It's not. It's what's not the, the difference, same. Al? What's ten bucks? What's it's ten bucks. It's not just ten bucks. It's ten bucks times all what's, of those what's people. What's one hundred and fifty bucks, Al? It's Christmas. It's, it's Christmas. Yes, one hundred and fifty bucks. Despicable. Is you could get a lot of family gifts for one hundred fifty bucks. Hey, Al. Do you though? No, uh, you wouldn't. You cheap bastard. I'm gonna go spend that money on someone else. I hope Joe Poo kicks your ass, Al. Uh, we all hope that. Go poo. <laughs> go poo. 
Now, how about these guys? I give her a dip, the dip of my C. <laughs> Walrus, you're awful. When I worked on the car a lot, one year, we used to get uh, envelopes with some cash in it. All right? And then one year, we all got a certificate to go to the butcher shop and pick up a ham. That didn't go over as big. <laughs> you didn't like getting a free ham? <laughs> the ham was nice. I, I went get, and got it. I used to get a free fr uh, frozen turkey handed to me from this one place. I think we had, like, um, the option you could tr you get the certificate for a small ham or a really small turkey, which I think was a game hen. You know, a, a big <laughs> turkey isn't that expensive either. Literally, I wish people would hand out turkeys now. I'd be excited. <laughs> Start cooking that thing. Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. Hey, uh, Jim. Jim, you're on. I run a fez. Hey, Jim. Uh, how you doing, running fez? Yeah. What yeah. can we do for you? Yeah, um, I'm in the middle of delivering pizzas right now. I want to know if Al Dukes hit pizza delivery man or any kind of food delivery person. I mean, the thing like with the delivery is the same as the with a bar. I mean, if my bill is five seventy five, I'll give six bucks. I'm not going to look for a quarterback. Oh yeah, you get, you how nice are you, big man? You're, oh yeah. Big wow, man. are you? Dang, I someone's getting visited by three ghosts this year. You know something? Well, they won't get tipped. <laughs> you want to know something now? You better tip your pizza delivery man. The next time you get food, there's a little rule we have. Well, I know. We, we, I don't even want to hear about that because we have Joe Poo here. It's almost like a union. All and right. If you don't tip, people find out. A union of nut sweaters. Here, let me tell you. I would rather eat the nut sweat than, uh, <laughs> he than asked, part with some of those singles of his. He asked if that counts as a topping. So disgusting. Christmas Eve, you're going to hear these chains rattling. It's going to be your old partner, Nancy Donnellan, and she's going to warn you that you're going to get visited by three ghosts. She tip big. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> the tip of her C. <laughs> cleat. <laughs> the tip of that big cleat of hers. <laughs> hey, uh, Rob, Rob, you're on our run of Fez. Hey, hey Rob. Hey, buddy. Hey. How you guys doing? Good. I just wanted to flip out a little, a little bit. Uh, I cut fish. for That's what I do. Uh, basically on the side mostly. And uh, we charge about a good guy will get anywhere from 75 to to $100 an hour. If you're not too good, you know, anywhere 10 to $20 an hour. And uh, around the Christmas time, I'll get in from like three to 500 from each of them as, like a, as a tip for Christmas. See, that, that's nice. silly. Yeah, Why is well, it silly? The f who would think the fish guy? I mean, the water guy, the fish guy, the UPS guy. Well, you can't have the fish guy without the water guy. They go together. <laughs> well, you know what it is? They, they kind of, it, it, you kind of got to make them happy through the year. It depends. You, they pay you by how much you leave on the bone now because they're paying for the whole fish. Right. So ideally you want to get it as close down. You want to get it to like the cartoons where you can comb your hair with a fish bone practically. And if they see that you do a good job and they appreciate it and you've made them a lot more than three to $500 through the year, they'll throw you a couple hundred dollars. See, I would rather... Tip the fish guy, then worry about choking on a bone the rest of the year. Yeah, but it, you shouldn't have to worry about that. You're not worrying now. You're I taking don't, care of it. By the way, people. guys, uh, you know, they well, you... card holder 4179. <laughs> 4179. Thank you, my friend. And does he really think before he cuts the fish, oh, last year I don't remember seeing a tip from this person, it so I'm going to leave it... the meat on the bone. <sighs> I, I, there's no convincing you. Run. 1027 WNEW